today we're going to be extending the fuel tanks on my space rocket because it definitely looks like it could get a little bit taller here i feel like it's just definitely a little bit too short so let's go ahead and bring this to the workbench and kind of see what we need to add here so let's see we have three of these fuel things hold on i'm going to show you guys i'm going to actually delete the entire side of this thing to give you a big visual here so we have three of these stacked vertically and how many more should we add oh we could definitely add a, quite a lot more because there is a massive build area that we can build off of here so what we're going to do is just completely cut off everything on the ceiling here so we're just going to go ahead and cut everything off and rise the actual capsule that i'll be riding in up to space because you know we can't uh, extend it if that's not rise so we're just gonna oh i forgot to uh actually not delete that stuff there we go and recopy it right now and we're gonna move it up Ooh, i don't even know you know what? i don't think we're gonna move it up yet so what we're gonna do is just put a block in between these fuel tanks right here and should we add one or two more i'm thinking maybe two so let's see we have one right there and then let's see how two would be i feel like two might be too much so we're gonna add two just like that is this too high i feel like it might actually here you know what we're gonna test it out um hopefully it works if it doesn't you know we'll just have to take one out and if that doesn't work we'll definitely have some issues so we're gonna just continue making our srb things here this will definitely get us to space now it has to oh we have an issue actually that shouldn't be too big of a deal so how many blocks is it off just one block so that means we only have to rise this one more block and it should be completely fine so we're gonna do that disable selection grid merge that in just like this and okay perfect oh it's hold on we're having issues here why is that top part not merging into the actual body um oh it's because it's not connected so i just need to grab a actual normal uh block just like that and then put that there just for now and there we go so now it is technically all connected and all right so let's spawn this in just kind of see how it looks see how tall it is see if it can even stand up all right so we're getting quite a bit of length to this thing this looks way longer oh my gosh okay so if this doesn't make it a space i don't know what will i'm kind of concerned on the length but we're gonna go ahead and fill in all this boring stuff here off screen wait 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 before we do that we actually need to do the piping i forgot about that we did that last time so what we're gonna do is just line these pipes up so on this side this is called hydrogen okay so we're gonna make this hydrogen on this side same with the one up there and then the one over here is oxygen i think um is that the first one let's go check yep it is perfect and then instead of these just turning into it we're gonna go ahead and grab a pipe and then it's a t piece so it can go like multiple different directions here including that one and then we'll make a enclosed straight pipe that goes straight up into the next one right here and same with this one on the other side so all the fun plumbing kind of stuff going on here and then we need another t piece and yeah i'll see you guys when i'm done with this there we go we got all the pipes done and connected hopefully we don't have any leakages because if they do it'll most likely explode on takeoff but that'll be fine because it'll be quick and done so what we're gonna do is turn on a symmetry like we just did and rotate this the right way and we're gonna try doing like our outer frame shell right here that we did last time down there and you notice we have to also extend the ladder a bit because um we've extended it of course so we're just gonna line this straight to the ceiling here dude this thing is really getting long if this doesn't make it to space i don't know why it wouldn't because there's just so much fuel in this thing like we packed this thing with fuel so i'm really hoping in this video we actually end up making it to space if we don't i'll be a bit disappointed to run off infinite fuel which is very unfortunate i don't think we'll um actually have that happen because that sounds really lame and we're gonna go ahead and fill the center of this thing with just normal blocks just like that perfect and then we got the last row right here and then we are done perfect and then i think we could actually take this thing off is that what we're gonna do oh yeah we need to do the ladder real quick but yeah we'll take it off see if it can make it to uh, outer space and if it does that's great but if it doesn't we'll definitely need to make like some type of improvement so we'll just add the final ladder like that do a surrounding here look for any other like uh holes in the spaceship or anything i think we got it all is it all merged in yes it is okay so i think we're clear for takeoff let's go ahead and walk to the rocket here no clip in the driver's area all right so we need infinite electric i forgot about that infinite electric on main engines throttle lever to oh nope i forgot we don't want to do that yet we need srb so srb launch there we go we should start going in the air perfect oh yeah and then i did forget we do need engines on just a little bit for this so we can maintain control that is really loud okay so we're going to do this and i I, do i have any control i'm trying to control it there we go yep i do have control and hopefully we cross our fingers here we'll make it to outer space today with these srbs hopefully just the srbs we release those off when we're actually in space and then use our main engine while in space so it's gonna be pretty cool but you know of course it's only cool if it works so we're using all of our highly advanced controls in here srb release that's the button we will um actually eventually hopefully click once these uh run out of fuel here hold on maybe we should turn it to nighttime it's like super bright it'll do something like this Ooh, this looks really cool okay 
Okay, I like this. Last time we were kind of having issues with stability. This thing was bouncing all over the place. I don't know why it's not doing it now, but that's honestly perfect. Like we're just going straight vertical. I'm not seeing really any issues here. So it's looking really good. I really like this. Uh, I still need to add a fuel gauge that says how much fuel we actually have on the SRBs if we can do that. But yeah, um, especially on our main engines, we have a ton of fuel in here. So hopefully we can actually at least kind of see the moon. But I don't know if we're going there today because that does take quite a long time if I'm going to be honest. All right, the map is starting to disappear. That's nice. I see an active volcano down there. Can you guys see that too? Just right above my thing right there. Look at that. That thing's ginormous. But yep, the map is disappearing. It is starting to get dark. So we are actually entering the atmosphere or um, outer space, I should say. So let's kind of line this up here. Make sure it's the right angle. So just straight vertical like that. Perfect. We are kind of at an angle there, but perfect. Yep, we're doing good now. And maybe in a bit here, we'll start seeing the curvature of the earth. There it is. All right, we got the curvature of the earth. SRBs are still running strong with infinite fuel off. So this is really good. I'm actually really proud and surprised that we've made it up this far. So SRBs are going strong. I want to make it into orbit. Um, orbit is really far up there, but I don't know. Oh, I see the moon. Okay, the moon is right there. Um, SRBs are still going strong, even though we're obviously in space. And I've just realized, uh, I don't know if we're going to have a lot of control in space. Why does it look pixelated? Um, never mind. It fixed itself there. But wow, look at this, guys. We've actually made it really far up this time. Any second now, the SRBs may or may not run out. I'm surprised they're still running, but I'm fine with it. That's actually really cool. I think we're in zero gravity right now. I definitely feel it being a little bit different here. I'm getting ready to release them. They're still powering through. I don't know how. I'll let you guys know when they turn off, though. And just about 30 seconds later, they have completely shut off. We're going to go ahead. Oh, it is so dark. Okay, Um, release SRBs. There we go. Oh, that's awesome looking. And we are still continuing to go up. We're going to go activate full throttle here. I don't know if we're ever supposed to do that, but yep, we're on full speed. We're really launching away from those. But yeah, I think we can control it because these uh, afterburners have like thrust vectoring or something. Oh, that is awesome. So I'm definitely sure that we can make it up to orbit with this thing. So that's something I'm really proud of. We need to add like some type of window or something because we really have no controls or visuals in this thing. Oh, it's really flashy. We also need to figure out like how to actually re-land this thing, which is going to be the super hard part. Uh, maybe we'll just have the top cap soul detached but that might be in a different video because we have to like connect everything through composites it's gonna be a whole mess but yeah we have full control of this thing in space so i think what we're gonna go ahead and add is a monitor in here and this monitor will kind of display what's going on out there because we don't have anything like that which is a little bit worrying because i don't know what's going on in front of us unless we're in third person so uh let's see where we should actually place our throttle at here you know what i don't think we actually need to move that we'll just place the monitor maybe directly above it do you think that would work out is that in the center it's definitely not okay so what we need to do for this scenario we'll just put some blocks here and put the monitor right here perfect okay that's a fairly large monitor do you think that's too i feel like that's too big you know what we'll just have a little bit of a two by two one here and that'll definitely you know two by three i like two by three it's just uh it'll fit better in the center here all right two by three monitor right there and then we'll have like some other monitors and these will be like our reverse monitors to kind of show us what's going on on the sides maybe i don't know how that'll work it'll definitely look cool though with all these monitors and we need the cameras of course so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some cameras we're gonna grab the medium sized cameras because they can actually go in like night vision and they can zoom in and out i don't know if we're gonna be using that feature but let's go ahead and add the top camera on the side right here because i'm kind of thinking for the middle we're gonna add a parachute uh, in an upcoming video and it's gonna be like maybe when we detach our capsule so we need to have some room for that okay so we're gonna do something i feel like that'll definitely work and it looks like we kind of had the camera the wrong way the arrows facing is that facing the right way i feel like it's supposed to be facing up and i don't think that's up okay so we're gonna do that way yeah that'll work hopefully that's right no idea but we're gonna go to our video feed here and connect that to our main monitor okay there we go and then where should our other cameras be because our srbs here are kind of like blocking where they would actually be at so maybe we should have the cameras be um like facing right here that might work i'm just deleting like random blocks right now seeing where this would fit at so it wouldn't work here because it'd stick out a little bit just by one block and then if we just move it down another block it would work on this side so you know what i think that's what we might do should we have two of these monitors or just one i have no idea you know we'll do two because why not so what we're gonna have to do is just do a little refresh there and then delete it again so i think we'll just do it right there and then we'll want it facing upright like that perfect and then video feed it will go to the left one on the left side and you know stuff like that so video goes to the left monitor the this one goes to the other left monitor and then we need a button for our actual monitors i'm i think this is stuff we normally do in our systems video but you know what? i think we're just gonna do it today i'll put our key button right here this is all of our cameras and systems and i've just realized if we actually make this detachable that's gonna be really hard to uh, get these video feeds or it's gonna be complicated so now these should actually work without electricity let's spawn this in and of course test it out so let's go in here the driver's seat 
turn on systems and we have a clear view of a lot of stuff which is really cool so that is our bottom left one down there i feel like it's supposed to be like inverted or something maybe it should be but this one's the bottom right and that is a clear view of directly in front of us so really cool and then we can see if we're in space or not this is actually a really cool view of like behind us i like that you know maybe we should only have one of these cameras because i feel like two kind of like confuses you on which side it's on so we're gonna go ahead and release srbs just for fun and those things just continue going if you launch them so be careful oh they're actually really going far out there and then we continue going straight down let's see if this thing falls and it like actually lands in the correct area i think it's going to those srbs are somehow flying straight up uh, i think they've just disappeared okay that's interesting but yeah when this thing falls it just goes like directly the way it came up so it's really advanced in that way like the center of mass and stuff is all really coordinated there and then if we had a parachute deploy on the top it would actually perfectly land on our high heels there we can say it and let's see how this landing goes it's probably gonna be horrendous and there we go okay so the damage didn't even like spread to our fuel tanks which is like really good so that's i kind of designed that really um nice like that now i'm kind of thinking we need a actual window in here just in case we lose electricity so um where would a good window be at would right here be one? Oh, i don't know about right there that might actually uh get in our way here um uh, maybe would that work let's see we'll test it out so what we're going to do is just grab a wedge like this and then have it be completely flat oh i don't have symmetry on we need to do that all right symmetry's on we're gonna go ahead and put that right there it looks kind of interesting but you know it'll work and then we're gonna go ahead copy a normal block not that put it right here and grab a window so should the window go like straight vertical with a one by three or should it like kind of curve i feel like uh going straight wouldn't be too bad but curved would uh, yeah i think we're gonna do straight up because i'm gonna show you guys what curved would look like it goes like really over um here one by three curved it yeah it goes way too far over we just can't have that i think we'll just stick with a one by three that'll work now we have some visuals at least when we actually do lose all of our electrical systems and it's gonna i don't know if that's really in a good view unless our like stomach's trying to see the window but you know whatever um let's see so we of course need some like backup batteries if we do lose power but let's see can we add any more um actual stuff i feel like we can do a very small window right there and right there that'll work you know it's just a small stuff so let's go ahead and add a one by one window and this is so we can at least see in front of us if all power goes out so kind of scary stuff to think about but you know it just happened first we need to see if a parachute can fit here i think we'll just put it here because why not see if it fits see if it all works out so parachute is three by three perfect uh we'll make it a neo fantastic color parachute and it fits lovely okay so we're gonna color all that the cool colors and done all right parachutes there and it works i mean hopefully it works what we're gonna do is go ahead and extend the parachute size to 100 so it's way larger and should slow us down much better uh, we should actually definitely test that out so what we're gonna do is have space um activate our parachute here so space activates parachute and we're gonna launch this thing in the air with just our srbs release them like halfway up or something all right, so SRB launch here in a second. Launch, and we'll go in the air. Release them right now so we continue flying. And then space is how we actually uh, launch our parachute here. Hopefully, it slows us down enough. But um, if it doesn't, we'll have issues. So three, two, one, we're going to deploy right now. And it is a... Ooh, we're definitely going way too fast. Okay, so we definitely need some more parachutes. Uh, I can guarantee this is going to cause a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's like uh, how, how much damage we caused last time from falling like 50,000 feet. But let's see where we should actually put all these other parachutes at because I have no idea where we have the room for this okay so not on the sides oh guys i really don't know although i really don't want to do this we can put parachutes like um in the actual interior of this thing so like somewhere in here would work i don't really know how many we can actually put in here and stuff in it so uh we got a window right there window here but the camera's in the way can we move this camera like anywhere i don't think we can oh i've just realized the windows would also get in the way okay so that's not gonna work what we could do is just put a parachute directly below it but that's gonna look really weird let's see if we can actually still see out the window yeah we can um a parachute below it do you think that would work out guys maybe we'll try it again i guess it's gonna be interesting oh we're totally gonna fall to our death here so we're gonna go ahead launch srb right now disconnect them right now all right we are in the air uh we're gonna go ahead and deploy our parachute here once we actually start free falling and once we get closer to the ground of course all right three two one deploying parachutes so now it does two parachutes i definitely should have made the size of that one larger but we're definitely going down slower i would say so let's see if we actually take damage all right impact in three two one and it did take damage why did it spread to that okay that's kind of concerning you know what maybe we need to make um uh, like suspension when we land i don't know about that though 
but making this uh, much larger should help. So we're gonna do, uh, we'll do 80% so we can kind of see like the depth of two parachutes. It might look really weird. Uh, so we'll do one white, one blue. I feel like that'll look pretty cool. It's like straight neotastic color right there. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, do the same thing as that. No, not that button. Go ahead, do the same thing as last time. SRB launch and release them right now and we're free falling, great. And any second now, we will be go ahead and deploy our parachutes. And three, two, one, I think we're clear for that right now. And we should be going much slower because I made the size of that like 80% and Neotastic color parachutes, that actually looks really awesome. Uh, we're going really slow now. So if this causes damage, we definitely have an issue of some, so actually that's kind of quick. Okay, yeah, it does the same amount of damage. I don't know how we should fix that. Some people like actually put pistons um, on their landing thing. So if we rise this up a little bit, uh, some people do this, I'll show you. So instead of having, these blocks here because we really don't want it to be rise that much with this so instead of having those blocks there they just put these pistons and this should support our landing or it might make it much worse we'll see so we got it spawned in okay that it's standing great okay that'll work and let's see if it'll actually support our landing with this heavy spacecraft here so go in here and it actually didn't tip over from even no clipping in the wrong way so throttle up actually no uh, srb launch right now release and we're free falling and hopefully with all this added suspension we can land softly Ooh. What's going on here? Okay, we're really going the wrong way. Deploy parachute and it's, oh, I accidentally retracted them up a little bit. I think like right here, release them and hopefully we stay up right here. I'm kind of concerned on why it's doing this. This is actually very concerning. Maybe it's just because of those things we added. That's probably why, but now we're going straight vertically down. Oh no, we're just doing flips. Okay, deploy the parachutes and yeah, that's kind of concerning, but then it actually ends up evening out here and we'll smoothly go down. We're gonna fall directly in this crack, aren't we? Oh my gosh, why did they make this a space launching site? with this okay wait we landed i mean we really did land right there but i think we're glitched in the ground hold on what's going on over here is our like actual piston things in the ground i think oh wait is it full hold on um yeah that's in the ground but guys that's probably gonna be it for this space rocket video let me know what we should actually add to this thing next there's a whole bunch of actual ideas but let me know what yours is in the comments so we can actually add them but make sure you guys go ahead like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye